Fan Xian handed the CRS document to Ding Zijing. He didn't understand why a person like him would be admitted by the Supervision Bureau. Ting Zijing did not explain, but directly knelt down and begged him to go to the Inspection Institute to help him get an important secret scroll, and he was willing to go through fire and water for him in the future. Fan Xian did not agree when he heard the words, and insisted on questioning the contents of the secret file. Ting Zijing had no choice but to tell the truth about what happened back then. It turned out that he saved a couple because of an injustice, but he was implicated because of it. Not only was he charged with chasing and murdering the court officials, but he also implicated the whole family. In the end, the Supervision Institute rescued him on the condition that he joined the Inspection Institute. Ting Zijing sighed that he once thought about the revenge on that couple, but he still couldn't bear it. After that, he understood the reason of survival in this world. Now, he only hoped that Fan Xian could help him find his family. Fan Xian heard his story and thought that since he didn't seek revenge from the couple, he still had a trace of kindness in his heart and was determined to help him find his family. On this day, Lin Warner had just finished drinking the medicine when she heard her friend Yi Linger yelling outside the house. When she rushed out to see, it turned out that Yi Linger specially brought a cook from the countryside, saying that it was the taste of meat that made from vegetables, and wanted her to try it. Because Lin Wanner was born weak and sick, although she was the daughter of a prime minister, she couldn't even eat too much meat and fish, and she couldn't even blow air. As Wanner's friend, Yi Linger felt very distressed about her current situation. She wanted to help her but was powerless. Knowing that Wanner was not satisfied with the marriage given by Emperor Qing, she took Wanner to find Fan Xian to break off the marriage. Wanner also fell in love with Fan Xian at first sight when they met at the temple but they didn't know each other's identities. Yi Linger took her to find Fan Xian, because she insisted in her heart that the person Wanner wanted to marry in the future must be someone Wanner liked. On the other side, Fan Xia with his brothers and sisters went to the restaurant for dinner. Fan Xia arranged for a group of people to trouble Fan Xian early, but they were subdued by Ting Zijing quickly. Fan Xia failed to find trouble, so he had to continue to take the two to a restaurant for dinner. At the door of the restaurant, the three of them met a woman with a child who was selling books. Fan Xian saw that it was Red Mansion. The price was as high as eight tails of silver. On the pretext that he wanted to buy more, he followed the woman to check the situation, but he didn't expect that the bookseller was an old acquaintance Wang Qinian, but Wang Qinian slipped away. Yi Linger took Lin Wanner to find Fan Xian to break off the marriage. Unexpectedly, Fan Xian was not in the mansion, but when she learned that he went to the restaurant, she parked the carriage outside Fan's mansion and waited for him. Fan Xian returned to the restaurant and told Ruoro that Wang Qinian was selling Red Mansion. Fan Xia learned that the book was written by Fan Xian, and his eyes flashed. He invited Fan Xian to take this deal with him together. Fan Xian saw that although Fan Xia loved money, he didn't use it for sensuality, but simply liked doing business. Fan Xian's impression on Fan Xia changed a lot. The three were drinking tea and chatting when a group of people suddenly rushed in on the street, led by Guo Baokun, the son of the Minister of Rights. Not only did Guo Baokun drive away the woman who sold the book, but he also publicly accused the Red Mansion of being a superficial book and threatened to ban the book. Hearing this, Fan Xian hadn't done much yet. Fan Xia suddenly rushed downstairs excitedly. He thought that since so many people read Red Mansion, there must be some reasons. One person squeezed out from the crowd and helped Guo Baokuan. Ruo Ruo told Fan Xian that this person was his own way, a well-known talent in the capital. Fan Xian understood that this person was actually trying to show affection to the crown prince behind Guo Baokuan. Seeing that Fan Xia was speechless by the two of them, and was even beaten, Fan Xian finally stopped watching. He went downstairs to rescue Fan Xia, beat Guo Baokun's servants with his domineering true energy, and knocked Guo Baokun away in a few words. The two were speechless. At this moment, Prince Jing's heir, Li Hongcheng, who had been hiding by the side, came out. He praised Fan Xian and invited them to attend the poetry party in the mansion tomorrow. Fan Xian knew that this was their goal, so he had no choice but to accept it. On the way back, Fan Xian asked Fan Xia why he rushed downstairs just now. 
Van Sijet answered without hesitation that it was because Guo Baokuan wanted to cut off his own fortune. Fan Xian saw that this stupid younger brother seemed to be arrogant and domineering, but his temperament was not bad, so he agreed with Fan Sijia that he will do this business together with him. On the way back, Fan Xian planned to make a secret trip to the inspection institute. He asked Ruoro and Fan Sijia to cover him and got out of the carriage. Who knows, the sister and brother were stopped by Yi Linger who had been waiting for a long time.